what is up angels welcome back to the channel today we have a glum light ice cream palette new look i absolutely been loving this palette you guys and i wanted to bring you another eyeshadow look for the fall i know a lot of you are still getting your palettes or your palettes still haven't shipped so i just wanted to give you a lot more options because this palette it's honestly so versatile you can create so many freaking beautiful looks i have yet to get to the pastels colors and i'm still just bringing more looks with the new true tones in this palette i am absolutely loving the quality Let's get right into this look. I'm gonna start with the shade Mango. It's a beautiful yellow. I don't know how to say that word. I don't know how to say yellow, you guys. I sound like I say I'm saying yellow. I absolutely love how beautiful, bright this yellow is. It applies just as well on the eyes, you guys. Absolutely stunning. This is gonna be the first shade on the crease. <laughs> Moving on, we are going to go on to Peanut Butter. It's a beautiful brown tone and this is going to be our transitioning shade to our darker color on the outer eyes. I love to do this kind of style which is like winged out because it just flatter my eyes a lot more and it's one of the reasons why I tend to go a lot for this eye looks. <music> Moving on, I'm gonna go in with a shade Chocolate. This is a beautiful, rich brown. Absolutely love it for the fall. I think it definitely applied a lot more burgundy in the eyes. I still love it. I just wish it was a, a lot darker. I still love it. I love how it blends. I love how it works. And as you can see, I'm applying this color right on the outer corners of the eyes, kind of just feathering that out towards the outer end of the brows. As you can see here, I'm switching between brushes just because I wanna make sure everything is nice and blended. And as you can see here, you can always go back and not reapply those shades that lost pigmentation. I'm also gonna go in with the shade Pumpkin. This is a true pumpkin color. I really, really like how soft and nice it applies as well. And I'm using this color around the edges of the look just to make sure it blends really, really well. Again, you guys, I wanted to be a little bit more dramatic and add a lot more color into this look. So I went in with, with this Pinky Rose Obsessed Palette using the shade Whatever and Cookie, which is a burgundy and a brown kind of mixed together and just added the tiniest bit on the outer corners using this morphe brush which i really really like it's a small taper blending brush and it works really great for that area next i'm going back to mango because i kind of lost some of that yellowness and i wanted to bring it back into the look also going in with chocolate shade because now we're going to start our lower lashes i'm using a flat brush from morphe to apply this color along the lower lash line moving on to the shade pumpkin this is the shade that's going to help just diffuse that color and i believe i also use a shade peanut butter on the palette to kind of create that that concussion i also had to add a little bit more you guys and i went in with a black shade from a color pop palette which is super affordable as well and i just took the same flat brush to create this smoked out wing liner along my lash line as you can see here i added to both to the top and the bottom and and also added a ColourPop yellow gel liner on my waterline to complete this look of course i'm gonna go on to the face and show you guys kind of what i did i did use a different technique for this method again everything i'm going to be using it's mainly drugstore i wanted to keep this super super affordable so i started with maybelline fit me concealer as was well the LA Girl Pro Coverage Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze to bronze up the face and then to highlight the face I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade I believe Ivory I think it's number five if I'm not mistaken I know it looks intense I know it looks really really crazy right now you guys but once I start blending everything out it kind of makes sense and and this method kind of works better for me in my opinion I feel like when I just go in with foundation and then add everything else on top it just doesn't look as well so I've really been loving the finish of just going in straight into my skin with concealer and just or cream products and just literally working everything in as I would as as I would when using a foundation so again I just went ahead and blended as much as I could I definitely definitely added way too much you guys way too much product this LA girl products you do not need much they really are super pigmented and blend out beautifully on the skin which is one of the reasons why I love using this products I did blend it some of the product out with my favorite brush which is from it cosmetics it's like a dual it's like a dual 
duo brush i really like it and i also went in with a sponge just to make sure everything looks nice and airbrush i'm also using the covergirl concealer just to tone down that brightness because i feel like it was a little bit too bright and i also added that concealer on my jawline just to create a lot more definition and then blended everything in with a sponge to again give me that airbrush finish absolutely love this technique you guys just technically using cream products instead of just going in straight with foundation my skin really loves it and likes it so much better i went ahead and finished the lower lashes and also added lashes from tata lashes definitely one of my favorite ones i'm also going to go in with this new product that i just tried is from maybelline and it's called their cheek heat blush it's a blush that's a gel formula it works really nice you guys i really like it i had tried other cream blushes formula and i and it just never worked for me but this one real it's really really nice and i love the glowy effect that it gives onto the skin i'm also using this new maybelline powder which is called lasting fix in the shade banana and you guys this has to be one of my favorite. I think I used it three times already. And every time I use it, I love the outcome of it. I love how well it blends into the skin. It just makes your skin look so nice and smooth. I feel like it does help a lot with texture, just like smoothing that out a bit. I mean, you're not gonna see a dramatic effect, but it definitely does help a lot more. I'm also gonna go in with this Summer Glow Pixie Palette. I'm just gonna use the bronzer. I like these bronzers because they're kind of like a blush bronzer mixture, if I'm not mistaken. I just feel like that's how they look on my on my skin tone and I just really like the overall like summer bronzy finish that it gives to my skin I'm also gonna go into the lips now to finish off this look and you guys my lashes are so disgustingly dirty because I overly use my lashes these are definitely needed to be thrown out because you can definitely see how much glue it's on top anyways for the lips I'm using a ColourPop gel liner in brown I love this gel liner it's for the eyes but i like to use it for the lips because i just love the color and then i topped it off with a nude lip gloss absolutely love this combo it's so stunning i really like how overall everything looked you guys let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more looks with this palette i have been obsessed this is a palette that you definitely need to try i haven't been excited about a palette in a long time and this one i just keep going back to it i love the color theory i love the packaging everything works really really well the quality it's on point from shimmer to the mattes everything it's super super nice i'm also working on my next video which is going to be which is going to be on holiday collections so please stay tuned i hope you guys enjoy this please subscribe if you did make sure you thumb up this video it helps a ton anyway babes thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you on my next one bye